Welcome back to Further Solution Academy. This is another question on the mathematical induction. Somebody sent to me, you know, I have to do it out. Now, by the method of induction, show that 10 raised to the power n plus 3 dots watch what 4 raised to the power n plus 2 plus 5 is divisible by what? By 9. Now, how do I solve this question using mathematical induction method? Now, let's try to do, solve it. Mind you, anything you don't want to learn about mathematical induction is on is now available on our channel. You can go over it and, you know, you'll be fine. Now, if I were you, I want to solve this problem. Solution to this question. Now, the first thing I will do is that uh, I have our head plus three dots of 4n plus 2 plus 5. Mind you, this dot is not point. It means that most times we have a dot b, it means a b, it means a multiplied by what? Multiplied by b. Please take note of those things. They are very, very important. Now, in advanced maths, we use dots to represent multiplication, especially when you are talking about series, when they, 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 they are so many, you know, um, polynomial, series, I mean, function, all these places. Now, for me to work on this particular problem, I have this. Now, the first thing I will do for n equals to 1. Let's see if for n equals to 1 will be divisible by what? By 9. It means 10 raised to the power 1 plus 3 dot 4 break 1 plus 2 plus 5, which I'll be having 10 plus what? This is going to be what? 3. 3. Six, that'll be 6 dot what? 64 plus 5. This is going to be what? 1 what? 192 um, plus 5 plus 10. That will be 1, 2, oh. Now, can this number be divided by 9? I don't know. Let's try to divide this number by 9. Divided by 9. 9 in 20 will be what? Will be 2. Remainder what? 2. In 27, will that be 7? Therefore, it divided without no remainder. Therefore, I will not. It is. It is true that that's what that is. I mean, it is true. Oh, let me sorry. Hold. It is true. It is it is divisible by nine. You can see it is divisible by nine without any remainder. That is first thing I will do. I can also say that what. Um, since it's true here, let's try for k. Now, for n equals to k. Now, for n equals to k, I'll be what? I'll be having 10 raised to the power k plus 3 dot 4 raised to the power k plus 2 plus 5. Now, since it's true here, therefore, it's also true, it is also true that the function the function or let me not use the function it's also true that let me use the word when because of that the function is the kick let me not cause problem it is also true that that when n equals to k is divisible is divisible by 9 now i move on to the next conclusion next statement the next statement now we are working on now is that term um, i want to know when my hen okay let's consider consider n equals to k plus 1 let's consider that n equals to k plus 1 at this junction, I will have 10 raised to power k plus 1 plus 3, 4 bracket of k plus 1 plus 5. Now, let's do a bit of a mathematical application here. Now, the first thing I will need to do now is that um, I have this. Don't forget k plus 1 plus 2. Sorry, I have, no, I have to come up here. Now, indirectly, I will be having 10 raised to power k plus 1 plus 3 dot 4 raised to power k, I can say that um, k raised to power, that will be what? 
3 plus 5. Now, you would see, I just added this plus this, it gave us 3. Now, at this junction, I can decide to have um, 10 raised to power k dot 10 raised to power 1 plus 3 dot 4 raised to power k dot 4 raised to power 1 dot 4 raised to power 2 plus 5. Mind you, I just split it what is it. Because this could be written as k plus 2 plus 1 or any way you want to do it. Now, for me to have that, and um, I need to work on something. What do I need to work on? I will look at something here. I have this and I have this. Now, what can I do that will make my work to be more easier? Think of what to do. I decide to have, um, okay, um, you know that 10 raised power k dot 10 raised power 1 plus this will give us some, um, I'll be having this times this, it will definitely be 12. It will definitely be 12. I can say that, um, I can say that 3 times this, that'll be 12. And uh, dot 4 raised to power k plus 2 plus 5. Now, what can I do at this junction? I can decide to bring this one to be 10 raised to power k. 9 plus 1 plus, I can also say that what? This can give me um, something very good by saying that uh, 9 plus 3, 4 is power k plus 1, I mean plus 2, right? right? Plus, it's power 5. Now, what I do, I just try to work on this number 10. I work on this number, you know, to make something very good for myself. Now, at this junction, I cannot consider. Um, by opening my bracket, 9 dot 10 raised to power k plus 10 raised to power k, which is, I open bracket, I open bracket plus, I have 9 dot 4 raised to power k plus 2 and um, plus 3, we have 4 raised to power k plus 2 plus 5. Please, there's no any magic here, but I just, what I just did, I open bracket. This bracket is being opened. You know, I open the bracket, which you all see. Now, at this junction, what can I do? Let me ask myself, what is the best thing to do? Now, let me move to um, now. Um, okay, I'm thinking of what to do that will make my work to be more easy. Okay, I move on to the next step. And the next step will be, if I consider 10 and uh, this, which will be 9 raised to power k, which I'll be having, now it means I'll be having 10 raised to power k and um, dot 9, which is, I'll be having 10 raised to power k dot 9 plus um, 9 raised to power, 9 multiplied by k plus 2 plus and uh, I'll be having 10 raised to power k plus 3.4k plus 2 plus 5. Now, what did I just do? I don't resolve for it. Now, at this junction, there is something common. I have 9 bracket of 10 raised to power k plus 10, I mean 4 raised to power k plus 2. Yes, that is what I have them. Now, at this junction, I have plus this, this, this. It will be 10 raised power k plus 3 dot 4 k plus 2 plus 5. Now, I just repeat all that is there. You know, that um, operation does not have any impact. Now, at this junction, how do I draw my conclusion? You can see that this and this. You can see that this function carry 9. And this function is being true here. That is true. That is true when n is equals to what? k. Now, you can see if you divide the whole function by 9, it will be divisible without any remainder. Now, 9 we cancel. It means 9 uh, bracket of 10 raised power k plus 4k plus 2 divided by 9 plus 10 raised power k 
plus 3 dot 4, 3 plus 2, plus 1, divided by what? 9. Now, this we cancel this, and this, it has been proved there that is true, that is being divisible by 9. Therefore, therefore, um, uh, therefore, hmm. okay, let me give you a right to what? Since, since 10 plus 3 dot 4 is power 10 plus 2 plus 5 is divisible by 9 by 9 and 9 bracket of 10 raised to power k plus 4 raised to power k plus 2 can is also divisible by 9 therefore 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 it is true that I mean, it is true, it is true that um, that is, is divisible by 9. Now, that is just what we are talking about that. You can see, tested for 1, tested for 2, I mean, tested for K, and tested for what? K plus 1. You can see, that's all about that. Once again, don't forget you are home with Brother Solution Academy. Thanks for watching.